Now, verse 7, and this could be our text tonight. There's none. Now, he talked about all of us, now he said there's none. I mean, just look like nobody. There's none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. Notice what he said. There's not a man stirring. That's a picture of death, isn't it? That seems like Ezekiel's valley of dry bones, not a bone stirring. Nobody stirred up. I'm preaching tonight on the sin of an unstirred church. Amen. And I tell you, though sometimes the preacher who sees it as it is seems to be uh, a gloom peddler and almost sometimes a doom peddler, I'd have to still say I'm seeing less stirring among God's people than I've ever seen in my life. I'm going in and out of more unstirred churches than I've ever gone in and out among. If I were to take you to my city of Corpus Christi without seeking to be critical but just using my hometown of 200,000 souls, I'd have to say that so far as I know, in all of my absences and leavings, but I go and come, I do not know of one stir in corpus for God. Not a one. I heard Brother Wearsby say today, I wish we had some great spiritual churches or more in our city. Listen, this other statement... The one man in this congregation, preacher, or be he a layman or a laywoman, a boy or a girl, the one man in this congregation that is in the most tragic and the most desperate condition is not the man that's unstirred, but the man that cannot be longer stirred. And that's where we're getting right now. We're getting to the place where you can't stir them. Now you pray for this message tonight and then ask yourself, how long has it been since I've literally been stirred to the roots of my spiritual being? Amen. Yes, amen. I'd say this, our educational system is not stirring the people and the denominational program is not too stirring. Amen. And the average church program doesn't have too much challenge to stir. Right. I'm talking about we're living in an unstirred generation. And yet surely I can say that if there's any generation that ought to be stirred and has every reason to be stirred up, I mean to a flame in heat, it ought to be us now, right now. Amen. Amen. Half of my ministry was given to doubt and, and, I mean, a misunderstanding of the coming of Christ. And it's hard to preach such a tremendous reality unless you believe it. Right. And yet, there doesn't seem to be a much of a stirring about the coming of Christ. 